Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I want to do a review on my Antec skeleton uh, build here. Uh, it's basically the workhorse of my uh, computer repair business and custom computer shop here. So, uh, the shop has changed a little bit. Now it's the walls are littered with uh, broken motherboards and stuff like that. But uh, people seem to like it. But the uh, this case just draws, you know. Uh, stares and glares and questions and uh, uh, it's definitely a unique looking case uh, I have grown to really really love this case uh, it keeps everything cool um, it is an open air case so you can't eat and drink by it uh, if you have little kids definitely do not buy it um, it's definitely open if <laughs> you can hear little kids in the background and that's the uh, uh, shop owners kids around here, but please excuse that there's a but Definitely if you had little kids like those girls screaming in the background They would stick their hands in here or to the fan over here and you know, get cut and uh, eat and drink around it uh, So definitely not for everybody, but let me get a closer uh, shot of this um, the antique case comes with a huge huge uh, I forgot how big it was, but definitely like a I think this is near a 300 millimeter uh, fan on top and you see it cycling through colors so at night it's really awesome um, you can have that uh, color cycling turned off or I mean I'm sorry not turned off but uh, at any color you want so basically what we can do is we can actually just, just hit the switch and we can have it stay at let's say uh, we like this here and it's staying at that color we want to cycle again, press the button, and it's going to start cycling through colors again. We have three fan speed settings right now. Right now I have it medium. And it's fairly quiet at low speed. Um, you can't, if you were here, you could feel it. You put your hand here, and at the tip of my fingertips, I feel an area of positive air pressure. Meaning, air is flowing throughout. Blowing out 360 degrees out in every side. Which is actually the optimal... Uh, way of cooling any kind of uh, electronic board. Uh, ask anybody who's doing uh, uh, who does any kind of like uh, engineering, and basically what you want is constant air pressure, forcing hot air out. Okay, and I have not seen any other case that's open uh, that does it better than this. Um, honestly, I'm, an enclosed, a very good enclosed box case can do it, but those are few and far between in my opinion, and you're using quite a bit of fans to do it. So, it's a trade-off, definitely not for everybody, uh, definitely eye-catching and very functional from, uh, from my point of view. Uh, shows it's open, it's open so customers can actually uh, see what's inside of it. I'm going to turn down this video. So customers can actually see the components inside. Now what I have in here is a Gigabyte 790FXT uh, A UD5. So this is one of this is the top board uh, from a couple years ago, and what I have here for a graphics card is the uh, Gigabyte 5830, and great great graphics card. Um, it has dual, I uh, believe they're 80 millimeter fans right there, copper heat pipes on top. Okay, it's a power hungry card, very long card. This is the exact same length as the 5870 because the 5830 is actually. Um, you know, 5870s that just couldn't cut it. So uh, the GPU die was uh, laser cut, and voila, you have a 5830. But uh, Gigabyte's 5830 is uh, very overbuilt, and uh, I can get very good overclocks with it. Uh, this motherboard actually has two, basically, if you can see it here, SATA 3 connectors here. So pretty much future proof, you know, uh, from about two years ago. I have a LG DVD burner on top, and I have, oh I'm sorry, this is a Samsung DVD burner on top, and this is an LG Blu-ray burner on the bottom, 10x Blu-ray burner. So on top I have a Western Digital Black Edition uh, 500 gigabyte SATA 2 uh, Western, uh, Western Cavalier Black. So it is considered business class with a year warranty. On the bottom I have a one terabyte Western Digital uh, caviar blue so the multicolored 80 millimeter fan you see here is actually something I added and um, afterwards it comes with a black 80 millimeter fan let's see here what else can I show you I have 
8 gigabytes of uh, G Skill uh, rip jaws here, and they work really great. G Skill has great, great, great uh, memory. Uh, they are uh, a company that we're from quite often. And having 8 gigs here, I have enough space for an additional 8 gigs, maxing out 16 gigs. This is DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. I have a AMD uh, Phenom 2 uh, 955 uh, <coughs> Black Edition processor here underneath this Rosewell cooler. And that processor is actually currently, I believe I have it uh, overclocked to 3.8 gigahertz. It can actually go to 3.92 gigahertz, but it's not totally Prime 95 stable there. It's definitely great enough to game on and everything, but um, just for stability's sake, I kept it at 3.8. Uh, the cooler is awesome. It This cooler seems to have been made for this case because pairing the two is just truly, truly awesome in my opinion. Um, it looks like something that came out of Terminator or something like that, but um, people had some bad reviews on this cooler. I can imagine it not working too well in a box, but in this case, the Antec case, my CPU temps are always, always cold. I mean, cool, really, really cool. Even while gaming and rendering, uh, this is a truly remarkable cooler. I, I wish that Rosewell would actually bring it back because it's very unique and it's very functional, in my opinion. Um, but I have a Antec uh, True Power 550 watt power supply in here, and I have it set um, for iFinity with a active Display Port adapter on top, uh, middle. Cable is HDMI and DVI on bottom. I have a USB 3.0 uh, hard drive connected, external hard drive. This has dual LAN, so basically has dual internet connections and a whole gambit of connections in the back. Uh, and Gigabyte is one of the few companies that offers you a whole gambit. Firewire, um, I should bring this here and I can show you. Uh, you have, you know, Firewire, you have uh, uh, USB 2.0, 3.0, eSATA, uh, just everything can be covered uh, by Gigabyte's premium boards. So I thought background noise is getting a little bit noisy and uh, I'm going to cut off the video here but just showing you that it is hooked up to iFinity. Uh, just playing a couple videos here. Um, if you're curious about the numbers, let's check out the numbers. If you can excuse the noise in the background. Let's see. Bring up system and security. Let's check it out. Okay, I have Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit on this computer. Um, and I'm not sure why it says it has to be refreshed. Probably because I had actually downclocked the processor, which actually doesn't make a difference on the uh, CPU ranking. But it's a at 3.8 gigahertz, 8 gigs of G-Skill RipJaw RAM, and uh, let's see what we have here. And this is the numbers. Uh, before before I downclocked it, you know, it's 7.5 for CPU, 7.5 for memory, 7.7 for uh, graphics, and 5.9 for hard drive. And I got it to 7.7 because uh, basically here, let's get GPU Z up, and I can show you what we have. Unless I don't have GPU Z, and I probably oh, yes I do. GPU Z. So, we have GPU Z up here. Once it loads up, we can uh, see what we have here. We're just going to close up the updates because we don't want to download any updates. It's not necessary. So, basically, what we have is ATI Radeon 5000 series. This is uh, the 5830, so it is based on the, it is actually the, uh, a physical Cypress chip from a 5870, except that it's just been laser cut to shut off defective areas. And, um, you know, 1120 unified shaders, uh, GDDR5, one gig of video RAM. Stock clock is 800 megahertz. I have it at nine, 925 megahertz for GPU and memory at 1050 so uh, it's enough to push the graphics up to 7.7 .7. and you can play 
it's enough to drive Ifinity uh, with respectable numbers in terms of gaming. So, um, old games can run at full, you know, at full resolution, highest resolution. These are three 21 and a half inch uh, 1080i monitors, and um, they're from different companies. The left one is from Scepter, middle is from Acer, and the right one is from Acer again. So, thanks for watching, and have any questions, just email or post comments, and uh, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.